There we go. Hey. AV. AV. I'm just going to be too much for Ortega. You know, I've got respect for him as a fighter. You know, he's definitely got the skills, but the skills he, he's got is just not going to be enough on the day. If we're in this sport, it's MMA. Everyone has a puncher's chance. And without sounding too cocky, I believe that's his go to. And if he's going to sit there and try and outfight me, he's, you know, he's, he's got no chance. That was a warm up in the nightclubs, wasn't it, for the security guy? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. No, for boxing, it was the first round. They actually advise you to do a lot of rounds like that, just, mm. just to keep the constant pace up. No. But you wouldn't know that because you're a wrestler. Ortega's a formidable opponent. He can do submissions from anywhere. Um, you know, his striking's got a lot better, so you know, we're ready for it. We've got the diamond, now we're just going to polish it. That's all we're going to do. You just had a little sweat out, moving around. Have a little extra sweat out, you know, just to keep the body warm. Woo! Oh, mate, it's good to be back. Good to be back at the home of the UFC. Stretch out in the sauna. Just, yeah, man, just, uh, oh, we're just making the most of the PI too, you know, it's such a good, uh, good spot, so we like to make the most of it when we come in. We like it, but we're going to keep doing it. Valentina is a very dominant champion, but um, I feel like we have a pretty solid plan to deal with every one of her best weapons, and uh, we've developed some really good weapons for Lauren to use against her. And every single one of these practices, we're getting to see, experience, and implement that game plan. It's crazy to me every single time that Lauren's the underdog, and it's crazy to me that she doesn't have just overwhelming support, because Lauren's story is what every person wants to believe, that like every normal person can decide that they want a thing and they can work hard enough to make that thing real. Here she is fighting for the world championship after going two and four in her first six UFC fights, finding the right weight class, finding the right camp, finding the right team. She's never given up and this Saturday it's all going to pay off. Yeah, so it's really important for us to, to go through the whole process. You know, we started that a few camps ago, so uh, we visualize and practice every aspect of the fight. We play Lauren's walkout music. We do the whole check out your gear, hug your teammates, up in the cage you go, turn off the lights, we play her opponent's music. There are a lot of nerves in that scenario, you know, so um, visualization is a powerful tool and we've implemented that a lot in these last few camps. Out all the stops, man. It's a title fight, you know, so we're putting all the effort in, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it all pay off. Let's go face up for me, girl. It's a week out, you know, you're gonna feel that they've been training hard, their muscles feel like they've been working, so. Sometimes they need a little recovery and a little, <laughs> little love, a little love. <laughs> you know what I was watching lately? Um, I watch um, Point of Break. Okay. I watch Robin Hood with uh, Russell Crowe. Uh-huh. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> uh, I love the Groundhog Day. You do? Uh-huh. Yesterday, just yesterday, I watched... Do you feel like you live Groundhog Day every day? Never. <laughs> it's never happening. <laughs> this is my, long, like, Crocodile Dandy, Fifth Element. It's what I was, like, watching, like, since, like, uh, Pirates of Caribbean, uh, first part. Crocodile Dandy, uh, first and second. I loved Crocodile Dandy yep. growing up. <laughs> loved it. And, you know, funny, uh, I was watching... Um, be one of my fights, yeah. it was like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was for the title. Okay. The genre. And the entire week, they were showing Karate Kid, the old yeah. version. The old version? Okay. And I was watching all movies. So good. <laughs> I feel movies in like 90s. So much better. 
way, way better. Right? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I'm good, mate. Very good. Good to be back in the, the whole fight week uh, process. Yeah, man, it was, uh, yeah, it was fine. And then hearing, hearing that, the news of uh, you, you testing positive and all that was uh, obviously devastating. At the time, I had no, didn't feel like I had that much symptoms at all. Then within a couple of days, you, you really felt them sim symptoms. And yeah, it, it got me, it got me pretty good. We all good now, we 100%. Looking forward to going out there uh, defending this. But yeah, uh, Nick Diaz, uh, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. I'll, I'll be able to watch that as I, as I'm warming up. He's an icon of the sport, mate, and uh, to be able to have him back on a card that I'm headlining is just incredible. Doing the fight week schedule, all right? Just doing a heap of media. Go do a shoot, and then uh, I think we're checking in. I think we're checking into the the bubble. Sexy in that shirt. Oh, thanks, mate. Where'd you find that? It Is that present. an old barley shirt or? Hey, barley shirt. It looks like a barley shirt. Like <laughs> yeah. a cheap, looks like, like a cheap five dollar barley shirt. I've like, seen one like you. that. I actually got one like that. Are they, when are I was they, about are they your hand me downs? Are they? Yeah, they're the ones for you me? give me. Yeah, from yeah. the peasant bag. Now you're gonna go and change it. <laughs> if he doesn't like it, we style it. <laughs> Thinking over here? Uh, just doing a bit of media, oh, photo cool. shoot, you know, the usual thing fight week. Promote the fight, get bums on seats, pay per views, that's what we're looking for, pay per views. Back here in Vegas, beautiful. Look at that strip behind us, got the belt. Beautiful. I think it's really beautiful to be here in Gracie University in the, under the roofs of where Brian started. I think it's always fitting that we finish our training camps here before we go off to uh, the fight venue. So, you know, having an addition of Tracy, his brother coming in today, it's just, it adds to that feeling of family. It's really beautiful. All these guys come to my sessions, nothing's changed. You know, it's not a, it's not a send off. We, this is how we train. These guys, I ha we, we train together on days and then we have each other separately on other days. Uh, Trace is always there for every session. My little brother comes to my sessions. I got a good team of support, solid people that, that care for me, love me, and, uh, and work with me. You know, they believe in me. We're definitely excited for this fight. This is something that we've been waiting for over a year, right? It's almost a full year since uh, we had our victory with Korean Zombie. You know, it's, it's not even about beating Alex, it's about showing the full version of Brian and he's just evolving so much, so quickly, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, in his soul, it's, he's transformed. So I think this is just the start. You know, he's talked so much about how He's coming with raw talent, with an aggressiveness, but not truly understanding the technical side of things of all four martial arts. Obviously he has a strong base in jiu-jitsu, now he's just leveling up the other martial arts and he's really coming into his own. I think you're gonna see something really special.